We're going underground, into a system that served beneath one of the world's great cities for more than 150 years. But modern life is testing London's sewers like never before. And the main problem? Hot cooking oil poured down the sink, which then cools and solidifies down here. All we've done so far is climb down the ladder into the sewer. And look, already my gloves are caked in fat. There's fat absolutely everywhere down here. Eventually it creates what's known as a fatberg. Unlike icebergs, these are man-made. This one in Kingston-upon-Thames was the biggest ever discovered. Today's is around 150 metres long. So what we've actually got here is a layer of fat across the top of the sewer. It's probably about that thick. The water's cascading down the stairs here and it's actually going underneath the fat that's floating on the top. Look at that. It's got chalk. The fat sets hard, and when I say hard, I mean solid. And then we have to come back with machines and actually suck all this out. It is really like clay. It's amazing, like chalk. Solid and dry. Combine fat, oil or grease, known in the trade as fog, with wipes, cotton buds and other unsuitable items thrown down the toilet, and drains and sewers block and can flood. It's a major issue everywhere. Breakfast contacted every water company in the UK. There are hundreds of thousands of blockages costing the industry and our bills around £79 million each year. The advice is to put the oil in a container and into the bin, but that's not the greenest solution. If we can collect it at source, like we're doing, we're starting to put in a programme where...